Hiya, thanks for clicking on the link to this video. My name's Rachel and tonight I will be doing a camp in a beautiful woodland. I did a poll last week to let you guys decide what sort of shelter I should sleep in and I gave you four options. One was my hammock, one was my wild country tent that I haven't tried out yet, one was a cowboy camp underneath the stars and the other one was with a tarp and a bivvy. And I did the poll on YouTube and on Facebook and it was 50-50 between the tent and the cowboy camp. Now, I would be up for cowboy camping. If it was 40 degrees Celsius, like it was last week, I would do it hands down, no problem. But we are forecast um, showers tonight. So I have decided to put a tarp up. So I hope you don't think that's cheating, but when the weather's right, there will be a few cowboy camps, I'm sure. So I'll show you around my setup for tonight and I'll be talking a little bit more about a campaign that Karen from Karen's Gone Wild channel has started recently. You may have heard it, hashtag show us your baps and I will reveal more later on. So stay tuned. But right now I'll show you around my setup and I'll show you around the other setup too. Here's my setup. I'm using a 3x3 DD Superlight tarp. I believe this configuration is called the Rainfly, but do correct me if I'm wrong. Standard ridge line and pinned out at four corners. I've got my OEX Fathom 300 sleeping bag inside a military Gore-Tex bivy bag just to protect me from the side rain and wind if it happens later. I've got a very comfortable Unigear sleeping pad, which I love, and I've got a foil sheet underneath that just to protect the pad from any potential punctures. There we go, simple. And as you can see, we're very lucky. We've got a ready-made fire pit and a small kitchenette in our camp, um, which makes life a little bit easier. Loving it. So I've set up my um, tarp and bivy, and now I'm going to introduce you to my co-YouTuber, here we go. This is the Woodside Walker, <laughs> Tasha. Hello. Hi, yeah. Uh, Where are you from, Tasha? I am from the beautiful county of Shropshire. Yeah, well, someone has to be, don't they? Right. <laughs> yeah. So this is our first time doing a YouTube collaboration. Yes. Um, we've been friends online for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. just following each other on social media yeah. and uh, like similar interests to do with the outdoors. Yeah. So yeah, tell me a little bit about your channel. What's it all about? Well, it all started really, I think in the, the first lockdown and I'd done a few videos for YouTube before and they weren't very good. And then I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a go of this. So the first lockdown, I really got out there and just explored my home county of Shropshire. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I'm so lucky that where I live, I am literally five minutes from Ironbridge, which is a World Heritage Site. And you can be literally in the middle of nowhere within minutes. And I just wanted to showcase that to people. Um, Telford and Shropshire get a bit of a bad press that it's very urban and and it's not. Mm. You can you can be in the middle of nowhere and I just wanted to show people that. And I'm also fascinated by the history of my county. It's such a really diverse county, lots of industrial heritage mm. and um, different sorts of heritage. And I just love exploring it. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with my passion no. with, with other people. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's brilliant. Um, I think a lot of people started vlogging during um, the pandemic yeah. and when restrictions eased, get out a bit more and just gave everybody the opportunity to, to explore their local areas. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like it quite so much when I kept bumping into people, but... You know. <laughs> Do you want to tell the audience what error you made today? No. No. Okay. Have I got to? Yeah, you have. Oh, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Bit of a schoolboy error, really. I was so excited. Um, I've got a Terra Nova Laser Pulse 1 tent that I've had for about 18 months. And I've been um, trying to use it and oh, ideal opportunity, I'll bring it out. Yeah, yeah, so confident I got everything, unpacked it and I've left the pole and the pegs at home. So um, yeah, so I won't be trying it out today. And thankfully Girl Guide here, who is always prepared, obviously, dib, dib, dib. <laughs> Um, it's really sad, isn't it? Just happened to have a spare tent in the back of the car, so uh, yeah, I'm trying that out for her. So, yeah, yeah so that's all I want to say. About yeah, that. no, that's all right. Um, the <laughs> tent that Tasha's going to be trying out is a Wild Country Safos Compact One, and I've never tried it out before, so Tasha is going to be um, 
christening the tent tonight <laughs> and doing a review on it before yeah. I get to. That's all good fun, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think it's uh, brew o'clock. I think it, yeah, I think it's jet boil time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get tea on. I'm gagging. <laughs> now have the three musketeers. Rachel has arrived. Give us a wave Rachel. Woo. Tiny pump, tiny pump. Everybody loves a tiny pump. We've all got tiny pumps. Yay, the best invention. So what is hashtag show us your baps? Well it's a lot more than just cooking up scrumptious food. That's always a good thing right? But there's a lot more to it than that and it's about raising awareness of health issues, physical and mental health alike. And what we're trying to do is encourage people to seek help if something isn't right. Now I know from personal experience it can be difficult to ask for help, especially if it's something that might be seen as a bit taboo or sensitive or embarrassing or possibly in a, a personal part of your body that may be awkward to talk about. I get it, I really do. But if you've got a lump or a bump an itch or a rash and it's not going away and your normal pharmacy medications aren't really hitting the mark we need to be thinking about talking to our pharmacist or our local GP if it's a mental health issue reaching out to a counsellor or counselling services that specialise in that so please please think about looking after yourselves let's beat the taboo of not talking about health issues because sometimes if we leave things for too long, they can get worse, physically and mentally alike. So please do reach out and ask for help. And I know how frustrating it is trying to get hold of your GP, especially when you're left on the line for ages on hold. But it'll be worth it in the long run. So please do reach out and encourage other people, your family and your friends to do exactly the same. Your health matters. Look after yourself. Hashtag, show us your baps. Pass it on, get other people talking about their health. under my tarp and it's about 11 p.m. Rachel's gone to bed, Tasha's gone to bed, fire's out, we're all fed and watered. It's been a really lovely evening just sitting around the campfire eating marshmallows, putting the world to right. Um, yeah it's been a really really lovely evening and uh, quite enjoyed my my vegetarian um, baps that I had earlier. It is due to um, possibly rain tonight, but only light showers. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this tarp configuration will um, serve me well. I haven't used this tarp configuration before, but I'm gonna make sure everything is covered by, by it and bring my bag in. Um, but I've got a Gore-Tex bivy bag. So even if it does get a bit windy, I'll the large spider down there. But luckily it's not too midgy. There's not too many bugs, just a few tiny moths here and there. Nothing to write home about. But yeah, it's all good. So um, yeah, just a quick change of clothing. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Night, night. That's, that's Tasha's tiny pump going. <laughs> We've all got tiny pumps. They're a great bit of kit. This is my tiny pump and it doubles up as a lamp. You do need to charge it regularly though because uh, the batteries do go down on quite quickly. But yeah, I'm just gonna hook this up to my ridge line now. Can I just about reach it? Uh, yeah, I did get the height right on this. Right, I will say good night now. See you later folks, bye bye.
Good morning. How is everyone? All right. Ooh, it's uh, five to seven in the morning. Ooh. Rachel's got up a little bit before me and uh, she's making me a nice hot coffee. Isn't she a good egg? I don't think Tasha started to stir yet. But um, good thing, the tarp gave me full coverage from the rain last night. And all my bits and pieces around me are nice and dry, which is good. Something to be thankful for. Oh, it's quite nice having a tarp, just looking out into the woodlands. Very refreshing. Um, yeah, I did have one minor issue and it serves me right for not bringing some sort of bug net. Um, at 3.30 in the morning, I thought I had a leak somewhere from my tarp and water dripping in because a part of my back was getting a bit wet. So I thought, oh, I'd better explore this. And I was trying to work out where it was coming from. And it wasn't a leak, it was a slug. Cyril the slug had crept inside, not just inside my bivvy bag, but also in my sleeping bag and was attached to the back of my hoodie. Um, no harm was done to either of us and Cyril the slug was gently removed back to uh, the woodland. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a unnecessary uh, interruption at 3.30 in the morning. Um, but yeah, next time, bug net. But other than that, it's fine. I wasn't cold. I was warm all night. Maybe even a little bit too warm, really. But yeah. All's good. I think I'll head over to the the kitchenette area and um, enjoy that brew. <laughs> there we go. There's the other bap. Nice fried egg. I like to fry it on both sides. Make sure the yolk's done properly. Doesn't make a mess everywhere. Mmm. Yum. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.